This is the new logo of Mercury One. This is going to be a service project. This is where I will um, eventually end my career. This is where I will spend the rest of my days in service of others. Because that's really all it's about is service, our responsibility. In, unless you know our history, unless you know how good things have been and how bad things can be, you don't know where we're headed and you don't know how to defend anything. Um, we, we have got to look for our responsibilities. You follow the responsibilities that I laid out on the um, website and I will tell you that there will you will change the world. We introduced them in Israel and I want to share them. I want you to spread them. I want you to live them. What we started with the 912 project, I would hope um, those members of GBTV and if you're a 912 um, member or a Tea Party member or just, just on your own, I would ask that you would do these things and make these things a part of your life. It is one thing, and you must know, on Friday we're going to do a special on the Constitution. You must know the Constitution. You must be involved in your voting uh, uh, districts and seek out good people. I mean, it's, it's why it's Wiener Day here at the Glenbeck Program. You have to do that. But I ask that you would make this a priority in your life because I truly believe that in the end, this is what's going to make the difference. The responsibilities. Let me go over some of them. Because I have the right to choose, I recognize that I am accountable to God and have the responsibility to keep the Ten Commandments in my own life. You can't have a free society if we're not living by a higher law. If we don't do the right thing, you have to do the right thing. If you want the right to be free and to choose your own path. Because I have the right to worship as I choose, I have the responsibility to honor the right of others to worship as they see fit. You can't be anti-Muslim or anti-Catholic or anti-anything. Can't be anti-atheist. You have a right to choose, so do they. But we all have to be responsible for our actions and not dismiss them. Three, because I have freedom of speech, I have the responsibility to defend the speech of others. Mr. President, when I said, I believe, I believe, that's my freedom of speech. Why are you trying to squelch my freedom of speech? No one, no one should ever try to shut Keith Olbermann or any other knucklehead off the air. No one should. We all have a right to our own opinion, even, and maybe, especially if I strongly disagree with what they're saying. We have a responsibility to defend them. Because I have the right to pursue happiness, I have the responsibility to show humility and express gratitude for all of the blessings that I enjoy and the rights that I have been given. Because I have the right to honest and good government, I will seek out honest and just representation when possible. If I can't find it, because everybody's Anthony Weiner, then I have the responsibility to take that place myself. This is what happened uh, today here in New York. People sought it out. Whether the guy turns out to be any good, I don't know. This one, because I have the God-given right to liberty, I have the personal responsibility to have the courage to defend others to be secure in their persons, their lives, and their property. If you want to be free, you must defend others, even at your own peril. When they came to round up the Jews, remember, they said first they came for the communists. I'm not going to be for rounding up any communists. Don't be for rounding up any Tea Party members. Don't be for rounding up any Japanese. If you don't think it can happen in America, it already has happened. It happened with the Italians. It happened with the Japanese. It happened with the Germans in the last 100 years. If you don't think it could happen in America, explain slavery. It happens. We must be fearless because I have the right to equal justice, not social justice, equal 
justice. I will stand for those who are wrongly accused or unjustly blamed. You must be uh, without blemish or without spot on this. Even if it hurts your own agenda, even if you're like, oh, I can't believe I'm standing next to this guy. If Anthony Weiner were innocent, if he were being smeared in the press, this guy tried to put me out of business. He came after my sponsors with the full force of Congress. If he would have been wrongly accused, I would have said, oh, crap. Leave the guy alone. It's imperative. Because we have the right to knowledge, I have to be accountable for myself and my children's education. Don't leave it up to the schools. Don't leave it up to the schools. We have to live our lives in such a way that ensures the continuation of truth. And I got news for you, gang. The reason why I spent the money to go here is because I am very concerned that the truth will survive. You must do everything you can, our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor, to ensure the continuation of truth. Because I have the right to pursue my dreams and keep the fruit of my labors, I have the responsibility to feed, protect, and shelter my family, the less fortunate, the fatherless, the old, and infirm. We have to take care of each other, but not through the government, but as individuals. Because I have the right to truth, I will not bear false witness, nor will I idly stand by as others do. I will tell you, I said this to my staff early this morning, I can't tell you exactly, I can't vocalize it yet on what is happening, but there is something happening and something coming, and I don't mean in the bad way. Usually when I say something's coming, it's always bad. This one, something is coming, but it is very, very good. And I have a feeling that it all revolves around you. We have a tremendous opportunity, but also a tremendous responsibility. Know your rights. Stop listening to those stupid human rights leaders that are all about control and power. And start living your responsibilities because... Your responsibility is the key. And only if you recognize your responsibilities will you be prepared for something very, very good that is coming. GBTV, the truth lives here.